Welcome to the Jewelry Resellers Podcast, your go-to source for all things shiny, sparkly, and of course, profitable. I'm your host, Desiree, and I'll be your guide on this dazzling journey through the world of reselling jewelry. We'll be diving deep into the art and science of reselling, uncovering valuable tips, insider secrets, and sharing stories from successful jewelry resellers. We'll explore market trends, industry news, and even discuss how to find those hidden gems just waiting to be discovered in thrift stores, estate sales, and beyond. So if you're dreaming of turning your hobby into a hustle, or if you're a seasoned pro looking to stay at the top of your jewelry reselling game, join me each week for insights, stories, and more on the Jewelry Resellers Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Jewelry Resellers Podcast. I'm your host, Desiree, and today I'll be talking about 20 jewelry brands that, according to Good Housekeeping Magazine, are some of the best brands or the most noteworthy brands of 2023. Now, some of these brands I've heard of before, some of them I have not, but the reason why I want to share this with you today is because the more we know, the better we can get when we are outsourcing jewelry. Sometimes you may not recognize a piece just by looking at it, but it may have a marking or a tag on it, and the name could be something familiar to you. So this is a knowledge exercise, I guess, would be a good way to say it, or just something to keep us informed about what's out there. And so we are up to date and we are familiar with some of the more popular jewelry brands that are floating around out there today. Now, of course, a lot of this is stuff that is brand new, But like I've said many times in previous episodes, you never know what will end up at a thrift store, at an estate sale, or maybe an online auction as it relates to jewelry pieces. Sometimes you will find new modern pieces mixed in jewelry boxes with a lot of vintage and antique pieces as well. So you can never have too much information as it relates to your jewelry knowledge. So let's go ahead and get started with the 20 best jewelry brands of 2023. And this is according to Good Housekeeping Magazine. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the first brand. I've actually heard of this before, and I think it's pronounced Missouri. And of course, I will have a link to this article in the show notes. So if you'd like to go and review this list for yourself, you can definitely do that. So the first brand is Missouri, and that's M-E-J-U-R-I. And it says, this is a favorite brand of celebrities. Missouri houses everything from classy necklaces to minimalist bracelets to statement statement rings. Now, Missouri has strived to make fine jewelry more accessible online. Even though it's a bit of a splurge, uh, the quality is really, really high. And it says that the brand is really on trend with what is popular nowadays. So that's definitely something we want to remember. Now, this is kind of a hard to forget brand just because it's such a unique name and a unique spelling. And they do have a couple pieces shown here in the article in case you do want to look. The next brand they talk about is called Hay Harper. Great jewelry doesn't have to cost a fortune. Our pros turn to Hay Harper for its impressive value, classic designs, and high quality with tons of jewelry falling between the $50 and $70 range. So again, this is very much a classic high quality piece. And I have seen, I think I've seen Hay Harper one time at my Goodwill. And I guess they didn't know what it was because it wasn't priced, you know, at a ridiculous <laughs> amount. But hey, Harper, it's definitely a name you want to keep in mind. Next up, we've got Catbird, and that's C A T B I R D. Brooklyn born Catburn, Catbird <laughs> has exploded since its 2004 launch, expanding to LA and soon Boston. 
Uh, it has dainty designs that are super chic and ideal for someone who wants to avoid chunky jewelry. Now remember, that's one of the trends that's supposed to be popular in 2024 is much more of a classic and minimalist style. So it sounds like this brand is right in alignment with that. Now it says it's a fixture in the permanent jewelry space. Catbird made fans out of our editors with its forever bracelets. Perfect for those who lose everything. So this is really nice. They have pieces that claim to be made out of 95% recycled 14 karat gold and recycled diamonds as well. All right, so keep that name in mind, Catbird. Next, we have Brilliant Earth. Shopping for an engagement ring or a special gift, Brilliant Earth is known for its vast selection of lab-grown and ethically harvested diamonds that are available in platinum or white gold. Oh, also yellow gold and rose gold. According to the brand, their diamond mining practices and standards meet beyond conflict-free criteria which include maintaining safe and responsible labor practices, protecting against human rights abuse, and more. So I think this is something that definitely resonates with people who are looking for something that is ethically sourced or ethically harvested in this case. So remember the brand Brilliant Earth. Now these rings, some of the jewelry pieces that they're showing here are roughly in the two to $3,000 range. So who knows if you'll find something like this at uh, the thrift store, but definitely at an estate sale or an online auction, you can find pieces just like this. All right, the next brand is Gorjana, G-O-R-J-A-N-A, -A. popular for its affordable selection of studs, rings, and timeless pieces, Gorjana, makes great pieces for both everyday wear and nights out, like these Zodiac Charm studs. Okay, so these look like they're fun and really affordable. A pair of earrings is roughly $25, and a necklace with a mini alphabet pendant sells for about $58. And again, that brand is Gorjana. All right, here's one that we all know and love. Tiffany and Co. The luxury jeweler sells some of the most sought after pieces from dazzling engagement rings uh, all the way to its Tiffany charm bracelets. I think a lot of us know that anything from Tiffany's is pretty much a classic and the designs never go out of style and if you do find one of these at your local thrift store make sure that it is authentic because tiffany and co is also one of those brands that is uh, highly counterfeited as well all right the next brand is amyo a-m-y-o a-a-p-i Female-owned jewelry brand Amyo is known for its minimalist gold jewelry. Uh, layer its vast selection of jewelry that checks off affordability and quality. There's even an entire hypoallergenic selection that claims to be safe for those with some skin sensitivities. So that's good to know. And yes, these pieces are definitely affordable. Again, the brand is Amyo, A-M-Y-O, and the pieces range anywhere from $50 to about $150. Next up, another familiar brand, Bobble Bar. I have sold many Bobble Bar pieces throughout my jewelry reselling career. It's definitely a popular brand and it does have a pretty good following. I think people who are familiar with Bobble Bar, you know, maybe customers or people who just love the brand because it used to be very popular with celebrities uh, many years ago. So it still has a pretty big fan base. Uh, Bobble Bar has it all from affordable jewelry to fine jewelry to unique custom picks. Thanks to the brand's vast selection, it's a great go-to for gifts that won't break the bank. Just keep in mind that the brand may not last you forever if you own tons of jewelry and like to play around with jewelry for fun, Bobble Bar is a good option. So when they have pieces here, roughly in the twenty to thirty dollar range, on you know on up to several hundred dollars. So again, it just depends on what you buy. 
All right, here's another familiar brand, Cartier. This fine French jewelry brand doesn't come cheap. I think we all know that. But it's one of the world's most renowned jewelers. Cartier sells everything from diamond rings to luxurious necklaces. And unlike other brands featured, some of the most coveted watches that you'll find. Its quality is superb and the Cartier collection is admired worldwide for infamous designs like the love bracelet, the trinity ring, and more. Yes, so we all know Cartier is pretty pricey. And again, you will find these sometimes at estate sales or <clears throat> excuse me, or auctions. But remember, we just have to make sure that these pieces are authentic because again, this is another brand that is highly counterfeited. All right, here's a name that if some of you are clothing sellers, you may recognize, and this is Made Well. Now, I used to be a clothing seller before I niched down into jewelry, and Made Well uh, may not be the first brand that comes to mind when you think about jewelry, but it definitely should not be overlooked. The brand sells everything from hoops to chain necklaces, bracelets, and more. Made Well's inventory is even larger online, including more high-end picks that are upwards of $200. So Made Well jewelry is great for adding a chic, simple touch to your look without hurting your budget. Now, I have seen Made Well pieces come across in some of the jewelry I've sourced here and there. And the pieces actually are really nice. You know, they don't look or feel cheap at all. All right, the next brand to keep in mind is Studs, and it's S-T-U-D-S. -S. Yes, that's the name of the brand. Uh, Studs makes funky huggies and hoops that you can attach fun charms to or wear solo. Think of designs like coffee cups, cowboy boots, and more. Now, this is a really cute, fun brand. I think this is probably for a much younger demographic because they do have things like lightning, lightning bolt studs and little dangles. Not to say that anybody couldn't wear it, but to me, it just looks like they're targeting a much younger demographic. But that doesn't mean that you can't resell these pieces, of course. Uh, looks like the prices range anywhere from $11 on up to about $35. All right, so here's another one, Layla May. I think I'm pronouncing that correct. That is a black owned jewelry brand. Layla May sells everything from timeless chain necklaces to chunky bold statement earrings to modern hoops. Dress up your next, your next date night with the brand's playful anklets as well. The founders slowly drop collections in small batches to help eliminate waste. And per their site, its curated pieces are nickel-free for those who do have skin allergies. And I do like the style of some of this jewelry. It is very uh, sleek and modern looking. Again, the brand is Layla May. And some of their prices range from about $48 on up to a couple hundred dollars. All right, the next popular brand, I think we have heard of this one. That's Alex and Ani. Alex and Ani has been a staple for years thanks to its stackable charm, bracelets, and bangles. And I have sold Alex and Ani bracelets many times, either individually or in lots, because sometimes people like to buy uh, the Alex and Ani bracelets in bundles, in lots, and I have sold them that way. Depending on what they are, not all of them will sell for, you know, a high price, but there is definitely a fan base out there or people who collect them and people who love them, especially the ones that are uh, 925 silver. So it says the brand also sells a wide range of styles that you won't find anywhere else, including fun Harry Potter thing themed rings and birthstone necklaces. This brand is my go-to for rings because they hold up well, offer a variety of thin and chunky pieces, and come in an adjustable one size. So you can wear them on different fingers without worrying about them fitting properly. And that was a quote from one of the editors of Good Housekeeping magazine. So uh, Alex and Ani is definitely affordable. Looks like some of their pieces range in the $20 on up to a few hundred dollars. And like I said, this brand is very popular with people who collect the bracelets. All right, now here's a brand I have not heard of. I think it's pronounced Mason Miru. 
M-A-I-S-O-N. And then it's a second word, M-I-R-U, Mason Myru or Meru. Uh, let's see. Have you ever fallen asleep with your earrings only to wake up to them digging into your skin? Enter Mason Myru's Nap Earrings, aka earrings you can wear 24-7. Their minimalist earring feature a flat, smooth back for minimal discomfort when laying down. Oh, that's really nice because I'm sure we all have fallen asleep with our earrings. We have... Just like the little article said, it kind of digs in, <laughs> digs in to the area right behind your ear. So uh, they're calling these a game changers just because of the construction and the design, removing every single one uh, before bed and putting them back the next morning is a major pain, according to someone who has tried these. So this is definitely something that um, I think people are going to be excited about. So they have little bar nap earrings and they're called nap earrings, N-A-P. So these are the earrings, yes, that you would wear to take a nap in. Uh, they range from about $80 and then they have bracelets and other items too. And that is roughly around $100 depending on the piece. Now, the other thing I want to encourage you about is when you look at this article, if you do go and click on the link, you will also recognize or you will learn to recognize the markings and the stamps that are on some of these jewelry pieces because you know sometimes you will come across a piece and you there's a marking on it but you don't know what it is and I'm looking at the marking for this Mason Maru and it looks like something I've seen before it's it's got a double M stamp tag on it so something to keep in mind if you are looking at the article later. All right, the next brand is, I think it's pronounced Umie, O-O-M-I-A-Y. Teens, young adults, and trendsetters alike love Umie for its variety of stylish yet affordable pieces, including vintage styles, colorful bracelets, and earrings for special occasions. Uh, let's see, many pieces priced around $55. These make great starter jewelry gifts. So they do have really beautiful, uh, very ornate looking designs on here. And I actually love these. Uh, they look something very classic and very vintage. And looks like the price starts at about $55. So yeah, these would definitely make great starter jewelry pieces. All right, the next brand to keep in mind is Annie Costello Brown. Best, resent, best represent your personality with beautiful handcrafted jewelry. This jewelry brand comes highly recommended for its unique designs that play with a variety of metals and colors. These handmade pieces are simple, but they do make a statement. Now, these are fun pieces, definitely uh, something that is very eye-catching. And these are a little bit more on the pricey side, starting at about $248, going on up to about $300. But again, these are beautiful and they are definitely eye-catching eye pieces. They're very bold and colorful. All right, the other brand is Olive and Piper. Whether you're heading to work or a wedding, this brand sells classy pieces in intricate shapes that suit dressier occasions. OMP is my go-to for beautiful earrings, says one GH staffer. The items are well-made, high quality, and truly timeless, and it's my go-to for birthdays and holidays too. Now, I have seen some Olive and Piper uh, jewelry pieces at the thrift store. And they are very nice and they're very well made. You can tell when you hold these pieces that they're not cheap and flimsy and they definitely have a very classic design to them. Prices are roughly between $30 and $50. All right, uh, the next brand is called Aurate, A-U-R-A-T-E. This New York jeweler launched in 2015 and is made for anyone who can't seem to get enough of gold, whether it's yellow, white, or rose. This brand incorporates everything from diamonds to pearls, gemstones, and more in classic yet modern designs. Oh, this is right up my alley. Beautiful pieces. Now, these are a little bit more on the pricey side. They do have a diamond bezel necklace starting at about $750. And then they have gemstone rings, and those start 
at about $180. But again, I do love the style. I do love the look of these pieces. Absolutely beautiful. All right, I'm not sure how to pronounce this next brand. It's V-R-A-I. Is it Vry? I don't know if that's, <laughs> if that's how you pronounce it. But the brand was founded in Los Angeles in 2014 and meaning true in French, made to order engagement rings and lab grown diamonds are this fine jewelry brand's bed and butter. Though Vry sells a range of products such as bracelets, earrings, and men's jewelry as well, its diamonds are sourced from the brand's foundry in the Pacific West and you can choose among 30 unique shapes or even cut your own diamond to create the perfect piece. Now, again, I don't anticipate we are going to run into this particular brand, but you never know. Like I said, especially for those of you who source at estate sales or auctions, um, sometimes you will find some of these, you know, unique brands uh, mixed in someone's jewelry collection. Looks like uh, this is much more pricey. Uh, the starting price for a pair of solitaire studs is $375. And then they have a classic oval engagement ring starting at about $1,200. All right, now this looks like a fun brand, Kin, K-I-N-N. If you're drawn to vintage jewelry and modern heirlooms that stand the test of time, Kin is for you. This brand uses 14 karat solid gold, oh, recycled 14 karat solid gold in the vast majority of its pieces, which range from Baroque pearl earrings to signet rings and engagement rings. It also sells pre-owned vintage pieces and has a repurpose program in place to recycle metals and stones into new and custom pieces. Oh, I really like that. All right, but this is definitely one of the more pricier brands. Uh, looks like a pair of Baroque pearl earrings are starting at almost $2,000. Kin Petite North Star Signet Ring starting at about $500. All right, and that is all of the brands mentioned in this article. Now these types of articles are so fun for me to go over and to look at and to share, especially if you love jewelry and you love learning about new and different brands that are out there. Of course, none of us will ever know, you know, everything that is out there, but it's good, you know, to keep our, keep our minds fresh and alert. And so now we will recognize you know, maybe recognize some of these names when we are out and about sourcing or if we are just looking at jewelry to get an idea of what we like, what styles are out there, you know, and maybe know what type of designs or the quality, whatever. It's just good to have more information. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed going through some of these brands with me. Again, I will link this article in the show notes and I encourage you to go and take a look at it just so you can get familiar with some of these names and what some of these pieces look like. All right, I wanna thank you so much for spending this time with me and I'll check in with you again really soon.